What are you doing? Hanging out. Why are you on the floor? It was comfy. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Do you want to go to the Lego store? Okay. Man. We have the 2009 ATOT drop ship right here. Some awesome stickers going on. This thing's crazy. 950 bucks. <laughs> if Ross didn't have it, he would probably buy it right now. This thing's so cool. Oh man. Switching gears. <laughs> Friends. So cute. These colors are so fun. These minions caught my eye last time, and I didn't get them. It's only 35 bucks, but I think I'm gonna get them like new in box. I just think that would be kind of fun. Oh man, we got some Nexo Knights. Definitely before my time, but this looks pretty cool. Man. Yeah, these things look awesome. Some Alien Conquest, some OG Harry Potter down here. Gosh, these look cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I really want this friend cinema. They look so cute. Comes with, what is it, Andrea, Julian, and Amelia. These just look so fun. This would be so fun for like my Main Street area. Oh my gosh, this monorail is so tempting. 240 bucks. Gosh, it looks so cool. Looks like they have two of them. Gosh, that would look so cool in Disney. And down here, it looks like the... Queen Anne's Revenge at 300 bucks. That looks so fun. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look cool, Ross? <laughs> gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh man. Look at these figs. Oh my gosh, I want it. <laughs> so beautiful. Hey, Ross. What's up? What'd you get? All right, so this is the Droid Tri Fighter from I think uh, 2014. Um, like I said, I'm on a quest to collect pretty much every Clone Wars era set there is. Are you close? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot. I might, I might have half. Um, What's the instruction look like? Yeah, so it comes with the instructions. So this one's cool. The uh, A buzz droid comes out the middle of it like that and it attaches to the ship and it's supposed to cut people down. It's fun. Then, uh, so it came with buzz droid. It's the wrong one, but I got it for a pretty good deal. And then, as well as Emperor Palpatine, this is from the scene where he's, like, telling Anakin to, to just do it and kill Count Dooku. So, I'm pretty excited to have that version of him. And then, really, I was really excited to see this, is Ula. Ula! My life be like Ula. But, uh, she's from pa uh, Jabba's Palace, and this is the only figure we didn't have from Jabba's Palace. So, now we are complete. So We're good pretty, to go. Yeah, I'm excited to have her. It was bothering me not having her. Right. All right. Target? Target. Woo! My life be like ooh la, ooh la, ooh la. I don't, ooh la. I, don't, I don't know the rest of the words. Wait, is there a spin place here? Ross? I do enjoy spin class. Oh, you love spin class. Oh, that's perfect. All right, awesome. So now we're on our way to Target, trying to get some Lego sets, or at least look around. Are you looking for anything in particular, Ross? Yeah, some uh, 2013 Clone Wars sets. I don't think he's gonna find any here. Today, I think I'm on the hunt for some more uh, buildable Jin Ursos at 20 bucks a pop. That seems like a good use of my money. Oh, here's some teas. Hey, this looks familiar. <laughs> I wanna get some more shirts. I think they're fun. Oh, the little aliens. Oh, you get a These are so cute. Looney Tunes? Oh man, that's like actually so relevant. That's fun. Keep that on standby. Can I get the Taco Bell one? I haven't been to Taco Bell in years. You want a Taco Bell shirt? I just want a Taco Bell shirt. You can rep Taco Bell if you want to rep Taco Bell. Do it. I went with Looney Tunes. That's about it. I think it'll look cute. Now for Lego! Wow, they actually have a bunch of stuff here today. This looks a lot different than it did around Christmas. <laughs> Man. Oh, we have two of these. That's kind of fun. We have that one too. Man, these four plus sets have the best minifigures. 
These are so cool. You like that one the most? I think it's new. I think so. Like January? Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I just don't know where we would put it though, like in our city. Whereas the cinema, wherever it is, here we go. We would put it next to the other cinema? Well, we would just take out the cinema there and replace it with this really colorful, pretty one. Or would my cinema go? I don't know. Do you want to put it in, in the Ladybird area? We could do that. Uh. Is that a compromise? <laughs> Looks like they're actually having a pretty good sale. It's buy one, get one 40% off, and it's a bunch of stuff. We have Mario, I think the whole Mario line. <gasps> they have minions. Oh my gosh, Ross, I want it. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's hiding. I want minions. But yeah, anyways, before I was distracted, there's a sale. <laughs> buy one, get one 40% off Mario and Lego City stuff. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if we need anything though. I know it counts with road plates, but we already, we already have a bunch of road plates. We don't need any more road plates for sure. So that's kind of lame. Buy one, get one 40% off. It's only for dots, not for friends. I wish it was for friends. Do you like the, the, the cinema? Oh yeah. Are you digging it? Yeah, I'm super into it. it sounds... Amelia, who's Amelia? There's Emma and Amelia. I don't and remember that. Julian. What do you mean you don't remember them? From what? Oh, are they the same people? Andrea. Remember which one's Amelia? It says on there, Amelia. What? Oh, glow up, girl. There's no Amelia in this. It's Andrea and Emma. Yeah, no, that girl. Glow up. Huh. Wait, are they the same? I think that's the same person. So that's Amelia. Glow up. <laughs> Look at you, Ross. <laughs> Ross discovers Lego friends. Is there like a whole lore to this? There's probably a lore. Oh, you know, there's a TV show. I bet you that. Is. Oh yeah, that'd probably be it. We should watch the show. <laughs> Who are these people? Okay, wait, which one's Olivia? Olivia? Well, you have to look at the things, Ross. See, that All one's right, Olivia. See, that's Olivia. So I'm assuming Olivia. Is, that's this one, right? Olivia. That looks like Olivia. Yeah, with the glasses. Wait, so this one here, that one looks like her. Then if, oh, that's Olivia. Then who's driving a plane? Is Amelia. So Amelia, they probably don't have everyone in that picture. That's just like the logo. I thought there was only five friends this whole time. I don't know. Maybe there's more. Yeah. Maybe there's more than five. Look at this one, Ross. Do you like the poodle? I do. I like it too because I kind of want to make like a little dog park. Aww. We should make a dog be. park in Disney World. Well, it's going to be next to the pet shop in downtown Ladybird. There's so many friends. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's more friends. But there look at this dog. Five. Ross, look at the dog. Which dog? The, the, the big, the big yeah, dog. Like a little Cocker Spaniel, right? So cute. Yeah. Do we need it? No. I think this is it. I think I'm going to start collecting Black <gasps> Series. Are you going to do it? Just because of Jar Jar Binks. Oh my god. To be fair, like they make them look really cool. Oh wow, but, that actually is cool. Yeah, but it's funny, people don't know that in canon, he becomes a street performer and everybody hates him. So are you supposed to open those or do you leave them <laughs> in the box? Well, it's however you want. <laughs> oh, I want walkie talkies. We can like talk to each other from across the house. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. I got some chocolate. All right, so we just finished a live stream and we were building the corner garage or at least like part two of the corner garage. And I did it with my husband, it was really fun, but something happened during the stream. Um, yeah, one of the bags in bag five was missing. So essentially like, you know how sometimes bag five will actually have like four or five bags in it, you know, like five different bags that say bag five. One of those was missing because we were trying to find the pieces for it and we didn't see them anywhere. I was looking, he was looking. And because this is part two, like we had already done part one last weekend for the corner garage, we were like, okay, well maybe we misplaced one of the bags. Like maybe that happened, I don't really know. So we were looking around and it was probably like a 20 minute ordeal of like, LOL, we're live, where's our where's our pieces? We can't really build our corner garage. And um, so yeah, we, we finished the stream. We actually built these, these flowers down here that turned out really cute. We built just like a second flower bouquet to add into here and just like fill it out more. 
Uh, we also have these tulips here, so really cute, like really fun sets. So yeah, and then immediately after the stream, Ross goes into the other room and starts emailing Lego and tells him like, hey, you know, like we're missing part of bag five, we can't find it. I don't really know how to tell which pieces are missing because I don't want to go and like cross-reference all that stuff. It turns out he was building bag four with the pieces from bag five. So there was no missing bag. <laughs> it was just, um, yeah, he didn't read it right, which is, you know, it's fair. They do look similar, but man, attention to detail. I don't blame him. It's an honest mistake, but yeah, there, there was no mystery. So with the corner garage, there's bag four, which is this part, and bag five, which is this part. And my genius brain, for some reason, started right here. Didn't even read the number, just went straight to building it. And oh, Ross. I was building, I was trying to build bag four, but we were on bag five. It's the same up until like this point right here. This is when I had my first missing piece. But I mean, when you look at it, it's the same exact thing. Yeah. And so that's where. <laughs> oh my god. Didn't even register. And it like, only when I was about to like contact customer support, I was like, hey, um, I'm not finding it. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, oh, let me go like reference the page in the instructions where it's at. And I tried to find it again and realized that, well, wait a minute, those aren't the pieces I'm missing. <laughs> Ladybird's disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Me, me too. So now I'm debating. I can either edit a video that I need to do for Tuesday, or I can go to the Lego store and hang out there and maybe find a set that I've been looking for. I'm not going to tell y'all which one. I don't know what to do. Hey, Ross. What are you doing? Hanging out. Why are you on the floor? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Do you want to go to the Lego store? Okay. Hey, Ladybird, you gotta protect the house while we're gone, okay? Can you do that? No. Okay, so we just got to the Lego store, Barton Creek Mall over there somewhere. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to come look at the Lego store and see what they have. I want to get the roses if they have them. They probably don't, but I wish they did. <laughs> and in the Chinese New Year set, do you know which one it's called? Uh, the Legend of something. Yan? Yan, yeah. Yeah, that one with the dragon. Yeah. That one looks so cool. cool. Honestly, I was like so inspired. I was on the lady stream today and Brenda from Art and Just had that and she was like kind of playing with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, those colors are so fun. So I kind of want it now. That's kind of on our list. I don't know. <laughs> and honestly, we're just always looking around. We'll probably end up with more stuff because it's the Lego store and we have a problem. Does this count as Sunday fun day? Sunday fun day. Whoop whoop. Okay, so I keep talking about it, but I really want another Disney castle. I saw Brixie do the whole, oh, what is it? The costume shop <laughs> build for it. And I know it comes with a lot of extra pieces, so like after you would build it and make the, the costume shop type modular, you'd have a bunch left over, but that's totally fine because I would use the pieces for something else. And getting another Tinkerbell and some of these other minifigs would be so fun. I'm still thinking about Rapunzel's Tower, but 60 bucks is a lot and I'd want to get two to kind of like build the backside of it. I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth it to me, but if it goes on sale, I'll totally get it. So you both can go in, that's fine. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, just, um, just use one scoop if you don't mind. Okay. And then just, you know, try not to grab anything with your hands, because we have to sanitize everything. Gotcha. No, that totally makes sense. So let's see. We have a bunch of these dark gray tiles, so we're going to get a ton. Oh, God. Scoop is not the best method. This is so cool. Oh my god. Going right into Disney World. <laughs> Hopefully there's enough to fill another cup at least. Yeah. I think there is. They're just hard to get. Yeah. And they give us an ice cream scoop. <laughs> I had Ross give it a try because I was really bad at it, but he is... He's also bad at it. <laughs> we already have one cup full and we're working on another. This will go right into our Disney and just like line up Main Street a lot better. These are, yeah, this is definitely worth it. Making us work for it. Oh wait. What are those? Some are inverted and some aren't. Oh, that's a pain. 
Well, it looks like the first Maybe look through them? I see mostly not. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So here's the pick a brick menu. They actually have some decent stuff today. We got, we have our eye on those for sure. And then some of these ones. I was I was worried they'd be inverted, kind of like that, but they are not. So we grabbed a bunch of those as well. This is a good day. It's always hard finding good stuff on pick a brick. Oh my gosh, look at this puppy in the band-aid. It's so cute. I'm still hooked on the friend set. It's a little puppy on there. And then the palace, not palace cinema, Heart Lake City movie theater. I really want it. <laughs> it looks so fun. And then of course Diagon Alley, the set that I keep talking about, but we'll probably never buy. Those colors would look so fun on Main Street though, or at least in downtown Ladyburg. We'll see, maybe one day. There it is. Look at how cool this is, this dragon. It makes you really want it. Darn you, Brenda. <laughs> this looks awesome. What do you think, Ross? I want it just for that guy. You want it just for that guy? I want it for the dragon. The Visa de Vaca, head of the camera. And it's currently out of stock. More like permanently. Let's know how much fun you guys have. Right, well, thanks so much, Stephanie. Yeah, you guys have fun building. You too. Thanks. We got some Lego. Look at that. I am so happy. They actually had the set that we were looking for. A lot of stuff was out of stock, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? That's just Lego recently. We just deal with it. I'm just really happy we got those uh, tiles and pick a brick. This is, that, that's like the best. Oh my god, yeah. That was so much cheaper. If we bought that from Bricklink or Lego, oh my god. <laughs> it would take uh, two months. Yeah, it would take forever. Cents a piece. Disney would never get finished. Our Disney World would just be in limbo indefinitely forever. All right, so I just got back with my uh, Lego bag over here. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so first of all, we got a bunch of pick a brick. Let's see. One more. So these two bags here, or what is this, bins, cups, whatever, are one by two gray tiles. These are just awesome. Like I'm gonna just fill up my Disney World with them. So that's what those two are. There's like a few little tan things on the top of here. Um, I don't know why Ross got those, honestly. This one has a few as well. Again, I don't know why, but I'm sure he has a method. And then this really colorful, fun one is mine. And I just wanted some fun stuff for my Toy Story World slash like, just Disney in general, just having some fun colors to throw in there. I don't know, we'll see what I do with it. I think I might add it to like my go-kart, or not go-kart, sorry, bumper car area. So yeah, tons of awesome pick a brick today. And then I also got these mini figures that looked kind of fun for Easter. We have what, chocolate bunny, uh, flower flower power girl, and what, um, butterfly? I don't, I don't really know what these are, but they're super adorable. Just fun little mini figs to add to the city. And then here is the big boy. Oh man, we got set number 80106 from Lego. This is the story of Nian, and it just looks so fun. Like I said earlier, this dragon is just so colorful. I really wanted it for the dragon. Ross really wanted it for this little minifigure here. It's not our first Chinese New Year set, but it's not gonna be our last either. These are such fun sets. I cannot wait to build that dragon. I'll probably do it soon on the live stream, so stay tuned for that. That'll be awesome. So anyways, thanks all so much for watching. These vlogs are actually so fun to make. I really do enjoy them. Um, it's just kind of fun documenting our journey through Lego hunting or just, you know, poking around Target. So if you enjoy them and you want to see more, please leave me a comment below. Tell me what you like seeing. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.